Hey everybody, so this is uh, from that same report I showed you guys in the last video. Um, this is section two, hemp as an energy crop. <clears throat> Many discussions regarding hemp biodiesel and biomass productions have focused on the problem of food versus fuel. In other words, should agricultural land be reserved for producing food crops? Are prices of food affected by using the land to cultivate crops for the purpose of producing fuels? Hemp seems to have a clear advantage over other crops in this regard due to its ability to grow on infertile soil, which leaves the fertile land reserved for food crops. Hemp does not require the use of lots of water or fertilizers to grow, and the resilient plant has only a few known diseases that do not usually affect the yield. <clears throat> Nevertheless, there are favorable climatic and soil conditions that provide optimal yield, such as sufficient sunlight during the early stages of growth, 300 to 400 mm of rain during the growth season, rich, well-drained soil, and high fertility. Um, and high fertility. So they high fertility. Okay, it's just some parentheses on quotations, I'm assuming. Hemp is prone to a range of diseases and insects. However, these diseases are not widespread and are considered insignificant. Um, in addition to the use of hemp seeds in biodiesel production, the discarded stems can be returned to the soil to provide additional nutrients. Hemp can grow in a wide range of climate, climate, climatic zones, as illustrated in the figure 2 below. Uh, when discussing fuel crops, it is important to compare the crop yield to determine if one crop has an advantage over the other. And so this is actually a graph. It came out looking a little different on Microsoft Word, but this is a graph that um, just shows the differentiation of yields and stuff with various different crops. Um, <clears throat> but I want to continue on to some uh, more of these readings. Statistics on hemp biodiesel yield are scarce since the production of hemp biodiesel fuel remains an untapped territory. However, biodiesel yield can be estimated using a number of mathematical formulas taking into account hemp seed yield and oil content of the seed, biodiesel conversion rate, etc. The hemp seed yield of the most productive variety of hemp seed can exceed 2,000 kilograms slash HA, which is, I think, hectare, under good growing conditions. <clears throat> Hemp seeds contain an oil content of roughly 30 to 35 percent of the seed weight um, of agriculture. So that's uh, a study from the um, parentheses of the, the British Columbia Ministry of Agriculture and Food in Canada reports in the specialty crops fact sheet that hemp seed yield of about 1.54 to 2.64 tons slash HA, which converts to 226 to 388 liters per acre at an extraction rate of 35%. <clears throat> For the sake of this report, it is assumed that the average yield of hemp seed is 2,000 kg slash HA. Another important factor in calculating the hemp biodiesel yield is the biodiesel conversion rate, which is the rate of biodiesel output to hemp oil out input in the process of transesterification. The conversion of cannabis sativa L seed oil into biodiesel is a has a high rate of conversion that is greater than 99.5%, with a total product yield of over 97%. This means that the product loss due to saponification is very low. <clears throat> Finally, hemp seed biodiesel yield can be calculated using the following equation. So they actually have an equation to help you calculate the yield. Um, yeah, and that's the end of that section. So I think I'll make another video for the next one. All right, take care, everybody. Bye.